Hello Dale friends, this is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you and share a word with you today from the Bible. God's Word for you. I want to speak about a five or ten minute message on the fact that God provides for you and He protects you. God protects you and provides for you. Isaiah 58 and verse 11 says <coughs> a good word. Uh, I know by, by verse 8. Then shall your light break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. Then shall you call, and the Lord will answer, and he will say, Here I am. And so here's a, here's a precious promise of God, and I believe and pray that it will be for you, for you that need this promise. The Lord said, Trust me. Believe in me. Know that I care for you, that I love you very much. I have made you, and you are mine, and I have redeemed you through the cross at Calvary. And I have um, come to that place where I'm calling you now to walk with me, talk to me, and live for me in the name of Jesus. So he says, when you do this, your light will break forth like the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. I pray that God will bless you. If there are some here that are walking in darkness, that you believe in Jesus and find the light. And if there are some that are, or belong to God and you're sick and in pain, that you will look to God and that in His perfect will, I pray that He might, oh, give you the hand of healing upon your body and that your health shall break forth and spring forth speedily. The Lord said, Call upon me. Now I will answer and say, Here I am. I'm right here with you. I'm not going to leave you. And God is near. And God will help us. We need to see that, to know that, and to love the Lord. To love the Lord. Try to please God. Try not to judge others. Just judge yourself, but don't judge others. Try to forgive others who've hurt you. Because if you carry a grudge, you're going to carry in your heart that uh, sorrow and grief and despair and you'll not be happy you'll be unhappy but if you can forgive and forgive and forget then God will give you peace and you will find that joy that comes from the Lord so learn to do that and to love the Lord and listen to the Lord let him speak to you it's a good thing sometimes to listen to others who have good advice for you but that good advice should be built along the word of God and we know that he, we need to listen to God above everything else. And the Lord God speaks to us through the Word, through the blessed Word of God. He speaks and He gives us a word in due season, and we need to hear it. And so we know that He protects and provides. Over in Psalm 91, in, in verse 11, it says this, For a, a thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh unto thee. And that's in uh, Psalm 91, verse 7. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. And so God protects you. There are a thousand ways that you could die every day, but God protects. His hand of mercy is upon you. He is merciful and gracious. He's always there to help us when we need it. And He is there right now to help you, to lift you up and guide you, to put His hand of mercy upon you, to forgive your every sin and make you strong to walk with Him and find in Christ the answer. So look up and be not afraid, for God is with you. The Lord God is your strength and your help, and He will deliver you. You must go forward. Don't give up. Just make sure that you're going forward for God and to say by the grace of God I'll not turn back I'm going on I'm going on I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back oh God bless you dear friend and may the hand of the Lord be good upon you to lead you daily and what, where you need to go and what you need to do and what you need to say. Know that the Lord has said to you, follow me 
I'll make you fishers of men. Try to say a word to someone that needs the Lord. Try to give a word of encouragement to somebody. Try to look upon somebody and be patient. And try to find always the will and way of God for your life. The way of love, the way of peace is yours when you walk by faith. So trust Him now and know that all is well. Trust Him now and know that His grace is sufficient. Trust Him now and know that He's praying for you in heaven. Jesus is praying for you, interceding for you. And we need to pray one for another. Please remember me in your prayer. Please remember me that the words I speak shall go out all over the world and shall bless hearts, and above all, shall magnify and glorify the Lord our God. May the Lord bless you, dear friend. May His strength be yours today. If you're not sure you're going to heaven, pray a brief prayer with me. For the Bible says in Romans, the 10th chapter, For the Lord's grace is sufficient, and His rich toward all those that call upon Him. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, Say forever. I want you to pray this brief prayer and ask God to forgive you and Jesus to come into your heart. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He paid for all my sins. I believe He's coming back. And I pray, dear God, in Jesus' name, come into my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. God bless you. May you walk today in the light of His mercy. Oh, and under the protecting hand of His grace. In Jesus' name, Amen.